Hello everyone, I'm Brad Nessler, and beside me in the booth is Kirk Herbstreet. Aaron Andrews is also with us. She'll be reporting from the sidelines. EA Sports and ESPN are teaming up to bring you today's exciting game between the Michigan Wolverines and the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame. We're here in South Bend, Indiana, on the campus of the University of Notre Dame. Both teams have sent their special teams out of the field, and we're ready for the opening kickoff. He's to the 10. And what a play by the kicker to take him down. So now the offense and defense are trotting out as we get set for the first possession. They try the option, left side. Gets out to around the 38. Nice job of picking up the Mike linebacker blitz and hitting it. Talk about home field advantage. Throws it. This one will fall incomplete. The defense always likes to see a pass broken up, but getting the turnover would have been really good. And it's puts the upright. They're going to pitch it. Lost the ball. Fumble. Good hustle there by the D lineman. It's often an overused term when referring to defensive linemen, but that's what they mean when they talk about a guy has a motor that's running. He never quit, and he played to the whistle. They'll give it off here. Nice run to the left there. Four yards on that play. the junior and a nice catch by the receiver for the touchdown anytime you're near the red zone you gotta keep an eye he's got it with room to run bounces off the would-be tackler and they finally push him out at the 40 you can chalk that one up to the hundreds of passes the quarterback has thrown to this receiver in practice these guys know and trust each other and you could see it in the way he threw that pass Quick throw, and he's got the halfback again. To the 10, and they finally knock him out at the 7. That's a very nice, relaxed delivery right there. Even in the face of the blitz, he held his ground and made a perfect toss. That's a big boost. Option. He's tackled at the 1. Allen gains around 2 there on the option from the quarterback. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. They've got their goal line sets on the field. This might be a good time for play action. Going to run for it, but he can't get away. Not quite enough for the first. Looks like they'll turn it over on downs. You know what? I think they still made the right call. Ten to go. Ball on the 27-yard line. the 45 yard line this passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback they use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend wants to go long and done no incomplete i'll tell you if he put a little bit more air under that ball that would have allowed the receiver to run right underneath it and catch it right in stride Back to pass. Way to look it in. Good job here by the receiver. Look the ball in and ensure he had to. Catches it and he's looking for more. And he's pushed out of bounds, setting up a first and goal. Did you see how calm he looked as he stood back there and read the defense? When you know what you're doing and what should be happening, it makes things a lot easier. 
trying to change the play. Fires in there, got it, touchdown. And did that play ever develop nicely? Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. player on this field today. He can run the ball through you or around you, and on top of that, he's a magnificent weapon in the passing game. Caught, and up for the first down. And he's tackled at the 21-yard line. Big game there for the first down. There was some miscommunication down there by the defense that allowed for that big game. Just a good heads-up effort to get his fingertips on the ball. And it is good. Down a little bit. He was in there in no time. But the quarterback did do a good job of not losing too much ground. It only set them back about two on the play. They try the option, left side. So they wrecked him up before he could get anything going. Yeah, there was nothing there on that option. And this place is rocking. He drops back. Over the middle, got his tight end. Tackle to 37-yard line. And that's the end of the third quarter. And we'll head into the final quarter of play with the score. They go with the option. The ball pops free. What a huge time to lose the football. Yeah, you can't cough it up late in a tie ball game like this. If they end up losing because of that fumble, this poor guy is going to be looked at as the GOAT. These guys were ready for the pass and played it well to come up with the deflection. Kicks up. And it's through the uprights. And so they take the lead with that field goal. Big time kick late in the game. That was a clutch kick to put them up on top. Lateral movement. That lets him move well behind this defensive line and get after a lot of plays in the running game. The pitch, and he's got some room. Picks up the loose ball. Move around the corner. Not a good time to fumble the football. And that guy feels horrible about it. He's got to forget about it. Go out there and play hard the next time they hit the field. Option. They can't bring him down, and he's in. Well, that really puts their backs against the wall. And being honest, it's not looking good. He makes... Back to pass. And he's hit as he throws. Caught with room to work. And he's tackled at the 27-yard line. Man, that was an impressive-looking play. When you can slice apart a defense like that, it puts a seed of doubt in their mind. The spike will stop the clock. So it's fourth down. And the field goal team is out to try this 44-yarder. Kicks away. And it's through the uprights. Well, that one looked like it was going to be wide, but he put it inside the upright. Yeah, he squeaked that one in, and he didn't have much more than a couple of inches to spare. Give all the credit in the world to the return unit for coming up with that off. That's going to do it for this one. Our final score, Notre Dame 20, Michigan 13.